Shall we begin? Let's begin. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dan the Man, aka Daniel's son, and I'm here to talk about my Funko Pop haul that I got. I mean, I was quarantined for a little bit, so get driving. I was driving me absolutely bananas so i actually uh bought a lot of these Funko pops online but then again i also when i recovered i went out and i got a, picked up a couple as well so this is going to be the part one of the Funko pop haul video uh unfortunately i was so close i sent a person to go get me those summer 2020 uh comic-con exclusives of goku and bakugo and they only had about 10 of them at hot topic and sh the person in front of her got the last one so unfortunately i'm not making a video with those pops because the goku one is super popular it's crazy getting expensive online even though it's like 15 bucks but i did uh get a lot of other goodies and that's what we're going to be covering today so this is part one of the video and we're going to be starting with the marvel funko pops so I did get my hands on a couple of these summer uh, 2020 exclusives. And this is the Avengers Endgame 592 Thanos. So this Thanos comes, uh, it has a loft, uh, a cutoff arm. <laughs> he had the Infinity Gauntlet on there. Uh, he's wearing his clothing from Endgame when he was tending to his garden. Uh, it's actually kind of hefty as well, which I like about it. And then the detail on the side with the scarring is awesome that's the one thing that really stood out to me was the scarring on this funko pop now funko pops could be you know they're kind of the same but they're characters of course but for for this funko pop i'm actually really digging how they uh they really captured that end game moment of thanos you know really defeated even though he accomplished what he wanted to accomplish so this is uh, a limited edition exclusive so this is uh really really it's just a really cool hefty pop i think this is like my favorite out of the thanos just because he, it does have his uh arm cut off or his hand cut off i should say um and it's just absolutely it's, it's really it's a really cool funko pop guys so uh i got this at gamestop i actually picked up the last two so i have one of them and yeah i'm very happy with this uh with this thanos one Suck it, Wolverine. Let's go, bub. We got another 2020 Summer Convention Limited Edition exclusive, and I got this online on Walgreens. I had to have it because this is the Wade Wilson Weapon X, the infamous Deadpool from the Wolverine movie. Uh, it is uh, Marvel 489. That's the number. It has. It's crazy. It's. It, it's. I think a lot of people are going to love this piece because of the fact that how horrible that movie was and how they butchered Deadpool in that movie. But the funny thing is, I think a lot of people love it because uh, Ryan Reynolds in his Deadpool movies continue to make fun of that project that he did. And it just kind of has a special place in our hearts because how horrible it was. But uh, Ryan Reynolds and uh, Tim Miller really redeemed themselves with the Deadpool movie. What I like about this is the actual scarring on the eyes uh, he, as if you remember the showdown between wolverine and deadpool uh the, the eyes he, he's able to beam laser beams out of his eyes which is hilarious his mouth it's i think i would have liked a little bit more detail on the mouth but the mouth has a little bit of the scarring on it so you could or you know when they s sewn it shut but I just feel like it could have used a little bit more detail on that end. Uh, it has the tattoos on the chest. I really like the Baraka looking uh, blades that are coming out of his uh, hands. It's such a weird concept when it comes to the Deadpool character because of what the comics and what they portrayed on the silver screen. And if you know the story about why the debacle on that, you should go check it out. Uh, it, it, it's crazy. The head of the fox did... Did this whole mess basically and interviewed so much with this movie so uh, i really love this uh funko pop just because of the fact that this is a terrible deadpool 
but it's also one of the funniest Deadpools because it's so terrible and people they still make fun of it. So I'm glad they came out with the 2020 exclusive. Uh, of course they came out with that because they have like a long the um, the Brian Singer basically uh, X Men Funko pops out there right now. So one of my favorites is the Wade Wilson Weapon X uh, Deadpool. From Marvel, we're actually going to go to the horror aspect of things, and we're going to be talking about the GameStop exclusive Pennywise with the glow bug, and this is uh, number 877. Uh, I really love the It franchise. Uh, I think It 2 was a little bit more, I think that kind of let me down a little bit, but I still really like the look of Pennywise the Clown. I really like the, I do like the, uh, how they portrayed a lot of the things in the It movies. So this glow bug is really cool because I really like the stance he has. He's just really just holding this glow bug and it's he's smiling it's just your your go-to pennywise kind of look and how he always uh you know he just really commands this funko pop this look that he has i like the hair i think the hair is a great great touch it's funny though is that the box i think it's glow in the dark i haven't really seen it yet but it has veins on the top of the forehead but when you look at the funko pop itself right now in the daylight uh, there's no veins there's like a little bit on the side uh where his uh where his hair is but i think they pop out more in the dark so um a lot of times uh these funko pops when they say glow in the dark they don't i want them to pop out more so i haven't opened this one so this is the Pennywise, and I think uh, it's a nice looking pop. I think a horror fans, uh, if you're a horror fan, and you and definitely an it fan, it's definitely something you're gonna want to get because the stance. I think the stance is just a simple, basic stance, but it that, it really conveys Pennywise, and that's something I can see Pennywise doing in the movie, just looking at a child with this glow bug in his hand. Now this is my creme de la creme. If anybody knows me, I am a huge predator fan especially the first film i love the second one a lot of people don't like the second one i love the second film uh so i actually have i ordered this on gamestop online while i was quarantined i had to get it uh i actually still have it in the box so we're gonna open the box so this is predator number 912 gamestop exclusive alan dutch schaefer this is the mud version when he's fighting Predator at the end of the uh, film. Uh, he has a nice little bloody nose. I love the mud that's all over him. And there's little, his hands, though, are not all muddy. It's like a splat of mud. I love that he has this, the little uh, arrow, the arrow that explodes. Oh, so cool. And he has the arrow in his hand. This is an awesome Funko Pop if you are a Predator fan. When I saw this online, I said, give me one. And give me one more because I freaking love this Funko Pop. I love Predator and I love the character Dutch. And if you know, you saw my other video, Dutch does uh, come back for the new Predator game, which kind of, it's cool. I like it. It would be nice. He comes back in audio files and you, he continue, you continue his stories. But I would love to see him in the actual film or some, some maybe uh, like what they're doing with Starship Troopers, a CGI film with him, uh, his character coming back. Because yes, Arnold is really old. I don't think he could do it anymore, so, uh, but it would have been nice you know, in the past, you know, but uh, this is a really awesome pop, though, guys. If you're a Predator fan, uh, especially if you have a lot of the Predator Funko Pops, this one has to go up on there. He is simply standing, of course, but I love just the overall. This is an iconic movie scene and when i look at this funko pop i think about that battle between that in the very beginning when he's or in, at the end but when he's fighting the predator and he's using his, his wits whatever he has to try to defeat that monster so oh, i love this thing uh it's gonna definitely be going up with my uh predator sideshow uh and then my other predator that I have out of the box the glow in the dark uh cloak predator so awesome and you can find this online at GameStop and I definitely recommend it okay guys we're so we're gonna move on from the horror aspect and we're actually gonna go into nostalgia aspect and in GameStop online they have a lot of cool of like I kind of iconic uh, personnel so to speak and I saw this one it, it it's a buy two get one free on GameStop online and I was like oh yes I will grab this this is the Toonami 749 Tom this is Toonami Tom and I think this is the first 
uh, the first look he had when he first appeared on Toonami. And if you don't know what Toonami was, it was on Cartoon Network. It was where you, America it got introduced to Dragon Ball Z, uh, Trigon. For me, it was Tenchi Muyo. I mean, and then now t- in today's standard, it's like Boku no Hero Academia. It's Fire Force. Toonami is what started the anime revolution, the anime movement, I should say, uh, in back in when I was a kid, and then even today. Uh, so Tom was the head of all this. He had like nice little kind of. There was at one point where there's a lot of storylines between him. Uh, th- he has different looks throughout the years. But when you see Tom, you just automatically think nostalgia. And uh, Tom, you know, this is just his first uh, this is his first look. I like the pot belly <laughs> that he has on there. I like the stance. He has one hand out, uh, one hand to his side. Uh, he has, of course, the really cool thing is his helmet has like this looking predator looking laser little thing going on there. Uh, it's a really nice pop. It's it's honestly, if you're not gonna just, I think you just get it for nostalgia's sake, and that's for me. That was it. I mean, Funko Club exclusive. This is a nostalgia kind of pop. This is a pop where you look and you just reminisce about all the great memories you had watching anime back in the day. So without Tom, I mean, Tom is the guy. Tom is, or I should say, the robot. He is the business. <laughs> and this is probably one uh, other than the Dutch. This is probably like my favorite out of the whole i got and this is the tupac 159 this is a uh a fry or you know the electronic store exclusive this is the overalls so this is uh he has his uh, bandana basically or his uh little beanie he has his overalls and his overall says thug life and he's holding the west side up in the air i'm a huge tupac fan and i i just remember a lot of the interviews he took and he had this icon he was like a fashion statement kind of guy for a rapper he had great fashion he had I mean, the bandana that I used to always wear. I mean, a lot of people can't pull that off, but he did. Uh, Overalls. A lot of people can't pull overalls off, but he did. So he had, he definitely had that look to him. And I like how the little detail is, they still have the nose ring where his nose is. Um, The overalls look great. I love the purple shirt. This is, this really brings me back to the speech he gave uh, about even, he, he gave a very powerful speech one time. Um, and you can find that on YouTube. I have it in a pop protector box because this is like this is this is my baby right here. I mean, Tupac's my, my guy. He is uh, Thug Life. You know, <laughs> out of all the pops, this is probably my favorite because this is the greatest rapper of all time, and he's my favorite rapper of all time. Uh, Lupe's right there with him, but Tupac, man, this this thing is awesome. So this is a Fry exclusive. You can f- you might be able to find online. Maybe not. I went back to see if they had any more, and uh, I think I grabbed the last two. I always buy two Funko Pops, um, especially if sometimes the shipping on these things. There was a there was an issue that we're going to have on part two, and we're going to explain. You got to watch out for the shipping on these guys. Tom actually has a little bit of a uh, damage front. It's a little slight damage, but... Uh, I know a lot of people want to keep these intact, want to keep them perfect condition so they can maybe sell them off or just an overall they love to have perfect condition on these boxes. And uh, I'm telling you right now, some of my online purchase purchases, I love what GameStop did with Dutch because they put them in a Funko Pop uh, box and it's amazing and it wasn't damaged at all. Um, some of it, though, was like, especially the Walgreens delivery service, especially if you're going, uh, they're doing a UPS send out. Oh, Terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, so unfortunately, Tom does have that little that little niche to it. And then uh, a lot of the Walgreens, like the Deadpool, um, they sometimes have little bent boxes. Especially when you go to a Walgreens store, they'll have some. I don't know if they do it anymore, but they used to have the pop like like these little things that they would crush the boxes, and it'd be like a little safe for them. And um, you would have the the registered person would have to take it off and you'd be like you got another one because this thing is completely the box is ruined and i think i don't think they do that anymore because they know how valuable now it is where people want the mint condition boxes so this is part one uh this is my uh funko pop haul and i am absolutely ecstatic with what i got on this first haul so go ahead hit that subscribe button if you can uh because we have a lot more uh showcases and Please hit the notification because you won't get notified of my new videos, apparently, because of the YouTube uh, thing that's going on. 
So go ahead and hit that notification and comment below. I would love to see, uh, did you guys get any Funko Pops this year? Order some, did you go get some? Did you get the 2020 hard exclusive like the Bakugo, the Nightcrawler, the Goku? Uh, because those were, those were the hard ones to get. And there was also a Chase Eeyore, I believe, out there. Hot Topic usually has a lot of cool stuff. And then, uh, yeah, just let me know. And thank you guys for listening. I'm Danny Mega Danielson, and I am out of here.